Hey everyone, welcome to my workshop today. My next series of videos are going to focus on giving you tips on how to keep your workshop more organized. Now if you're like me, clutter is a constant battle. I've got lots of loose papers always lying around all over my shop. And I'm constantly moving these papers from one work surface to another when I need to use a workbench or a tool. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple desk in your workshop to keep all your papers and things organized. I've got room here for notebooks and hardware catalogs. I've got drawing papers, workshop plans, my iPad, calculator, pens, pencils, rulers, everything there. I chose this simple design with a drawing shelf drawer that pulls out on these full extension slides and it holds in the out position. If you give it a little tap though, it easily tucks away so that now, when I'm not using it for drawing, I can get around this space. Sometimes it's the simplest ideas that can make the biggest impact on keeping yourself organized in the workshop. Let's get into it. I'm using my ultralight compact workbench I recently made to break down the plywood for this build. I'll leave a link at the end of the video if you'd like to check it out. This desk is being made from a single sheet of half inch or 12 mil pre-finished Baltic birch plywood. I like to use my track saw and the parallel guides from TSO. They're fast and give me repeatable, accurate cuts. I'm also using my styrofoam workbench accessory top, which extends the compact workbench to a full 4x8 cutting surface. Let's head into my workshop, which is attached to my garage, where we will complete the build. I'm going to use Origin to CNC the shelf tenons and side mortises for the desk. Origin connects seamlessly with the Festool dust extractors. I'm going to use the Shaper workstation with Origin to cut the shelf tenons. These registration pins help orient the shelves vertically on the workstation so that they're flush with the top. This was my first time using the workstation by Shaper and it really extends the functionality of Origin. At first I questioned the price of the workstation but really I see them as an indispensable package. If you're going to spend the money on Origin, get the workstation as well. These sacrificial strips help minimize the tear out when you're cutting the tenons. The support bar helps keep Origin level when it cantilevers out over the edge of workstation. Before starting a new project with Origin, you must make a new scan of the workstation. Origin stitches a series of images into a single large work surface image. First, I set up a grid by probing the X and Y edges of my workpiece so that I can get an accurate placement of my design file. You should use the engraving bit upside down to get a precise registration. Then I switch back to my quarter inch or six mil cutter. Here I'm importing my design file from ShaperHub. I created the file in Fusion 360 and exported it in SVG format using the Shaper plugin. I created two files. The one I'm using here is the shelf tenant file. I designed a 50 mil or two inch tenon that is inset from either side of my 12 inch or 300 millimeter shelf. The tenons are inset also by two inches or 50 millimeters. This will provide plenty of support and allow for a screw on either side of the tenons. The rule in CNC cutting is that your max cut depth for each pass can't exceed your bit diameter. In this case, I'm cutting through tenons that will be exposed on each side, so they need to be 12 mils or half an inch long. I'll do this by cutting in two quarter inch or six mil passes. I make an outside cut around the tenons, and afterwards I used an inside cut to remove the excess material on either side of the two tenons.
I've completed four shelves with two tenons on either side using my Shaper Origin and workstation. Now I've got to set up a tape board with a sacrificial piece of MDF underneath so I can cut through my workpiece without damaging my workbench. Now I'm cutting the eight tenons into the side of the desk that will hold up the four shelves. Since the cutter leaves a round hole, I made sure to round the corners of the tenons so no extra cutting is needed. In this case I used a 1 8 or 3 mm radius to match my bit size. I made a vacuum workbench that I use for processing workpieces. The workbench has a solid laminate top so that I can position the pair of vacuum clamps anywhere on the worktop. I have space below that's sized for Festool sustainers. I keep all my sanders and dominoes under the workbench for easy access. The Festool vacuum clamps are a game changing tool. You can see a little bit of flex because I'm using just one clamp. I have a second clamp for larger work pieces if necessary, but one clamp is fine for these pieces. After putting a 3 mil or 1 8 round over, I switched to 150 grit paper on a soft pad to smooth out all the rounded edges. The Rotex RO90 is perfect for this task. I decided to add an LED light strip to the inside shelf. This light is going to be perfect for eliminating all the shadows inside the shelf. LED strip lights can get quite hot and the heat can make them fail prematurely. This aluminum channel will act as a heat sink for the excess heat and the frosted cover diffuses the light. I inset a small toggle switch in the top left corner of the back. I plan on keeping my iPad on the shelf which works great in the shop because they don't have any vents or fans where dust can get in. These metal clips help hold the channel in place.
The rocker switch protrudes through the back of the desk, which will help protect the soldered wire and will not be visible from the front. The 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC transformer was too thick to fit on the back, so I'll mount it to the left side where it will have better ventilation, but won't be seen from most angles in the shop. The final addition to the desk is to add a French cleat on the back. All of my shelving units in my shop utilize French cleats. French cleats have many advantages. The continuous mounting strips on my walls bridge across studs so that you can place shelves in any location without worrying if you have a stud in a specific location. French cleats allow you to change your mind with your layout of your shelves or tool mounts. I have moved my shelves around several times as I have acquired new tools and my workflow in the shop has changed as a result. I had to make an accurate line to make sure the mounting screws will connect through the back and into the top shelf. I'm using my 23 gauge brad nailer to add a spacer strip to the back so the desk will rest level. It doesn't bear any weight so brads are sufficient to keep it in place. I'm using this feed and wax beeswax orange oil by Howard which is an all natural product that really brings out the grain. It smells great and leaves a matte finish. The sander scratched some of the pre-finished surfaces and the wax made the scratches disappear. Well I'm super happy I finally got around to finishing this workshop desk and with the French cleat system it's really handy you can mount it on any wall in your shop and it'll always keep the floor clear. Hey if you like today's video please click the thumbs up to let us know we're doing a good job. Thanks very much everybody and we'll see you in the next one.